I want to start first with some news that we broke yesterday right here on this show. The Drive Guys on Sacktown Sports 1140. Forget what you heard elsewhere. We had it first that the Sacramento Kings had Lonnie Walker IV, our good friend Isaiah Thomas, and Tony Bradley, and Juan Toscano Anderson in for workouts this week. And the question is, it's leading to speculation. Oh, could any of these guys help us? Will any of these guys sign uh, with the Sacramento Kings? Of course, we had it here first. I'm looking at it like this. My sources told me it was just for workouts, just to work out the guys, no impending signing or anything like that. But when I looked at what each guy can give to the Sacramento Kings, it made me wonder, could any of these guys actually help the Sacramento Kings? Let's start with my guy, Isaiah Thomas. Come on, be careful now, Dre. I know where you're going, man. I know where you're going. <laughs> That's my guy, IT, and I love IT. Hopefully he's listening right now. He's in Sacramento working out with the guys right now. Isaiah Thomas is a two-time All-Star. He's a fan favorite. He is a bucket getter. He's one of the best follows on social media. But could he really help this team right now? That's the question. That is the question. And I say, from a veteran standpoint, a leadership standpoint, yes, Isaiah Thomas, he can definitely help this Kings team. My only question is, what role in terms of basketball, in terms of seeing him actually play, in terms of him actually being on the court, can we see him actually out there, Jay? Can we see him getting minutes, or is he a 12th, 13th, 14th man with this Sacramento Kings squad? That's my question. I love IT. I maintain that, you know, what happened to him in Boston, he was done wrong in Boston out there with the hip injury, the labrum tail uh, tear that he tried to play through. But from a basketball standpoint, I know it would make a great story to have him come back here to Sacramento. I heard Carmichael, Dave, and Jason Ross talking about it earlier this morning. This is saying, Jay, you can't go home again. You, you, you know, once you leave home, you're not welcome. You're not welcome again. I'll tell you a quick story. I went to school at Winona State University in Winona, Minnesota. Finished my first year there. And I'm like, you know what? I don't know if this is for me. I miss my people back in Philly. I miss mom and dad. So I called mom up. I said, you know what? I think I'm going to come home. I, I think I, 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 it's not working out for me. I started selling my stuff. You know, I didn't want to, you know, my bed I sold. I sold my stereo system, Jay. Oh, that's was, real. When you say the stereo yes. system is real. <laughs> Your boy was, <laughs> I was done. And you know what? Mom said, you ain't coming back here. No, no, You know what I mean? No. She said, you ain't coming back here. She said, I, I, I don't know where you're going, but you better go out there and make it work. And, and it's sort of the same thing with Isaiah Thomas. While I would love to have him back in Sacramento, I want him to go to a team that actually fits, that actually he could thrive in. I don't want him doing the ML car, waving a towel on the sidelines, not seeing any minutes, being a DMP CD. IT's too good for that. And I know it would make a romantic story, and I know Kings fans would love it, but I don't need Isaiah Thomas being a glorified mascot on the court, on, on the sidelines for the Sacramento Kings. And so – that that that's that's my take on it. I can't hear you right now, Jay. Okay. You know I'm in the studio I like a you. rapper. Turn you. my levels up. I got some issues here. We'll fix that coming up in a minute. But let me move on to some of the other guys though. Juan Toscano Anderson. Here's the thing about JTA. He's a hard nosed player. He's a tough player. He's a coach's dream. But I don't see where he helps us out. We we're bringing in guys that are guards. 6'2", six, 6'4", six, guys like that. We need some size. And no offense to Juan Toscano Anderson, because like I said, he is a coach's dream. 6'6", six, six, maybe he could play some three, but I still think we need more height. We need somebody 6'8", 6'9", 6'10". And so Juan Toscano Anderson, solid player. I don't think he's the fit here in Sacramento either. I look at a guy like Lonnie Walker IV, who helped the Lakers make it to the Western Conference Finals a couple of years ago. Here's a guy with a 6'10 wingspan, but he's only 6'4. But he's played in big games. He's made a difference in playoff runs. 
But once again, is he a small, small forward, meaning 6'4", or is he a two guard on the Sacramento Kings team? I don't think we need another two guard. I don't think we need somebody. Our backcourt is already crowded. So Lonnie Walker, the fourth, to me, is not the answer. Now, mind you, this is just me spitting right now. This is just me hypothesizing, if you will. The Kings brought these guys in for workouts with their current players. It's not like they were, you know, trying to sign them this week or anything like that. These were guys brought in so they can get some really good five-on-five runs. Now, the intriguing guy to me is Tony Bradley, and here's why. I know it's not a big name. I know he's not going to go out there and get you 25 and 15 or anything like that. But here's a guy listed at 6'10", but has a 7'5 wingspan. Exactly what we need. We got Orlando Robinson. We got DeMontis Sabonis. We got Alex Land. We got Trey Lyles. Tony Bradley, to me, when you look at his career, his best years came uh, when he split time with Philly and OKC. He played 22 games with OKC, averaged 8.7 points, four rebounds, 6.1 rebounds, excuse me. Combined with the rest of the games in Philly, 20 games in Philly, he was a 7.1 point, 5.7 rebound guy in just 16 minutes. The thing about Tony Bradley, I might take a look at him as a third center. I'm not saying he's playing over at Alex Lynn or anything like that. I'm not saying he's coming in, getting you 25 minutes. But of the four that they brought in, to me, the best fit would be Tony Bradley. I'd love to hear from you, 916-339-1140, your chance to weigh in. Do you want the Sacramento Kings to sign any of these guys? We were the first ones to report about 24 hours ago that the Kings were working these guys out. These guys were in town to work out with the Kings and work out with some of their guys. But does that mean that impending signing is going? And if you wanted the Kings to sign one of them, which one would it be? Would it be Isaiah Thomas? Would it be Tony Bradley? Would it be Lonnie Walker IV? Or would it be Juan Toscano? We'll dive into that coming up next year on The Drive, guys. Plus, coming up, which former King would you want back for 